Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we'll be doing Glad Revision Mathematics Grade 3, Test 3. So join us and we will help you for the upcoming Glad exam. If you get 100% on this test, you're well on your way to getting an A or B in the Glad examination for Grade 3 Mathematics. Today, we're working with Sky Bryce, our student for Grade 3. Sky Bryce, say hi to everyone. Okay, number one. Let's go sky, read it. Come on. Write the numeral 250. Excellent. Okay, write it on the line. Very good, sky. 250. Number two, sky, read it. Give the value of the underlined, underlined digit. Call that number. 985. Which digit is underlined? Which eight, digit? 8. 8. And what's the value of that digit? 80. Write it on the line. Very good. Okay, now notice we said value and not place value. If I wanted the place value, then you would think about 100 tens and ones and it would be in the tens position. But we just wanted the value, so the value of that is 80. Now, how you get it, when you say 985, you hear 80, so that's the value. Very good, Sky. Number three, go ahead, read it, Sky. Ray was last in a race with three other children. Identify and write the ordinal number for his place finish. Very good. Okay, Sky. How many children were in the race? Four. Okay, because it's Ray and three others, so it's four. So write the ordinal number for me, Sky, if he came last. Okay, let's check it out. Fourth. Very good. Okay, let's move on to number four. Read number four, Sky. The time is five o'clock. What time was it to hours ago. Draw the hands on the clock to show the new time. Okay, it is five o'clock, but we want to know the time two hours ago. Go to the clock and let's see how you're going to work it, Sky. What time would it be two hours ago? Go to five and count back two. Go to five, count back two. Where do you end up? Three. Three, so draw it in first now. Okay, so you have the long hand pointing at 12 and the short hand pointing to 3. Very good job, Sky. Excellent work. Number 5, Sky. Read it for us. Use the graph to answer the following questions. How many students are in the science club? Okay, show me the science club. Okay, and we're using a... What type of graph? Is this guy? A bar graph. Bar graph. Okay, so go to the science and tell me the number. Six. How do you know that? Mm. Where you got the six from? Show us where you got the six. Right there. That number on the vertical axis is six. Okay, write it in. Six and put students at the back. Very good, Sky Boys. Six students. And that's the answer for that one. Number six, Sky, read it. Write the missing number. And do it for us. Okay, write it right below it so we'll see it right below. Okay, why would you put six for that? How do you know? Counting twos. Counting in twos. Counting twos for us. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Very good. Number seven, read it, Sky. Name this sol solid. Solid shape. What's the name of that solid shape? Cylinder. Okay. And spell it right on the line for us, Sky. C Y L I N D E R. Cylinder is the name of that solid shape. Number eight, Sky. Job. What are you adding? 13 plus 54. Go ahead and work it for us. 
Say what you're doing. 3 plus 4 is 7, and 1 plus 5 is 6. Right, right, very good. 3 plus 4 is 7, 5 and 1 is 6. So your answer is what? 67. Excellent job. Number 9, what are you subtracting? 68, take away 47. Go ahead and work it, Sky. See what you're doing. 8 take away 7 is 1, and 6 take away 4 is 2. 21. Very good. No renaming. Straightforward. Excellent job. Okay, Sky, number 10. What are you multiplying? 41 times 2. Go ahead, work it. Tell us what you're doing. 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. 82. Very good. Number 11, Sky, what are we doing? 8, eight divided by two. 2. Excellent. Now, put the sticks down. So we can see what you're doing. How many? Eight. Next, what are you going to do? Circle, sticks and twos. Very good. And what would your answer be? Four. Because you have four circles, okay? So put four on the line. And put four above the eight. Excellent job. If you know your timetables, you would just say your tables and get your answer. Two times one, Sky. Two. Two times two. Four. Two times three. Six. And two times four is... Two times four? Eight. Eight. So whatever you multiply two by to get eight, that's the answer when you're dividing it. Let's see if Sky can do some other tables for us. Sky was, was seven times four. Twenty-eight. Very good. See, Sky knows up to seven timetables. Okay, grade three. Number you 12, Sky, what are we well. doing? $3.41 and $5.21. Excellent. Go ahead and work it. Tell us what you're doing. One at one is two. Four at two is six. Put the desk on one. Three. Add four is Three and five, five is eight. Answer? Eight dollars and sixty-two cents. Very good. Notice you put the point under the point. You cannot leave it out. Okay, so remember to always put the point in or else it would be wrong. Eight dollars sixty-two cents. Excellent job, Sky. Sky boys. Let's move on to number thirteen. Number thirteen, Sky, go ahead. Five dollars and forty-six cents mm -hmm. take away one dollar and four uh, cents. Right. Okay, go ahead, work it. Six take away four is two. Four take away zero is four. Five take away one is four. Four dollars and forty-two cents. Excellent job. Number fourteen, read it, Sky. Four, six. Four, six. I one set. Very good. Go ahead and work it. Answer? Five over six. Five, six. Very good, Sky Bryce. Four over six plus one over six. So you add your numbers. You're adding six. So you add your numbers on the top. Four plus one is five. And you leave your answer with a six on the bottom of it is the denominator because you're adding six. Very good. Number 15, Sky. Draw the lines of symmetry of this shape. Draw the lines of symmetry on this shape. And it says lines, so it means we're drawing more than one. Go ahead, Sky. Let's see it. Let's see that one. That one divides it in half coming down. Go ahead. And that one will divide it in half going across. Very good job, Sky. Number 16, read it, Sky. Find the area of the shape. And what shape is that? A rectangle. Rectangle, so you're multiplying the length by the width. Go ahead, write it first, Sky. Show us to the bottom what you're multiplying first. Write it, six centimeters. Stand up, CM, times.
2cm. Okay, then for the no number square there yet. Number square just put a line through that. Okay, now put equal to the back of that. Equal. Well, 6 times 2? 12. 12. And then CM. And now you put the 2 to the power of 2. Why? Because you multiply C centimeter by centimeter, so you get square centimeter. Okay, put it on the line. Put the answer first, 12 centimeters squared. 12 cm to the power of 2. Make sure I write it again to the bottom. Don't put the cm up in the top, right? 12 cm just as to the bottom, and then put the 2 up to the top. So you don't make any mistake. Excellent job. Number 17, Sky Read it. Draw the image when you flip this letter. What's the letter? L. Okay, flip it for us and draw it to the back. Very good. So you draw it the other way, and that's how you would flip the letter L. Okay, let's make sure we get that right. Now you could also slide it or turn it. We're not dealing with those today. You just have to flip it. Excellent job, Sky. Okay, number 18, Sky, read it for us. There are 26 students in grade T at the Garvin Times Primary School. If 12 students are boys, how many students are girls? Very good. So let me read it again. There are 26 students in grade 3T at the Garventines Primary School. If 12 students are boys, how many students are girls? Work it first, Sky. Do the working right at the back. Twenty-six. And you're taking away. Okay, put a go ahead, tell us what you're doing. Six take away two is four mm -hmm. and two take away one is one. Okay, put the answer on the line for us. Very good, Sky. There are fourteen girls. Twenty six take away twelve is fourteen. Let's move on to number nineteen. Number nineteen, Sky, read it for us. Circle the probability of picking a crop certain or impossible. Okay, some big words in there. Probability and then certain and impossible. Okay, look at the pictures and you have a bird, you have a hummingbird, flamingo, a fish, and then another hummingbird. What's the answer, Sky? Impossible. Why? Because there's no crabs. Very good. No crab in the, in the set. So circle the answer for us. Very good, excellent job, Sky. We go on to the last question, number 20. Okay, the final question, number 20, read it for us, Sky. Write the coordinates for the conch shell. The coordinates for the conch shell is A, let's do that first. Go to the conch shell and let, let me see you do the coordinates. So you go to the conch shell and where do you go? Down. What number? Two. Write it in. Excellent, then go to the conch shell. Where do you go next? Three. Across, across, yeah, to the left and you put that number in. That's it. The coordinates would be 2 comma 3. Now, read B. Which picture do you find at 0 and 4? Four. Four. Show me 0 and 4. Right, so you go to 0, then you go up on the Y to 4. What picture is that? Bird. A bird. So just write bird and that would be it. It's a hummingbird, but if you put bird, it's just as good. Very good, Sky and There you have it. That's the end of test three. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Give us a thumbs up. God bless you and see you next time. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.